Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Let us have some informative sections regarding NET and ARS exam of plant physiology. This is the first video I am going to deliver and today's video deals with the introduction to crop productivity and modeling. Why is modeling important or what is the need of crop modeling? It is evident that the production and productivity must be increased to meet rapidly the growing demands. So new agriculture research is needed and also growth must be in a sustainable way. In this direction explanation and prediction of growth of managed and natural ecosystems are needed. That is why crop modeling has its importance. Now before entering into crop productivity and modeling, let us have an idea about the about some important terms dealing with this section. First one is crop. A crop it is defined as an aggregation of individual plant species grown in an unit area for economic purpose. Here uh, comes an a doubt what is the difference between crop and plant. We can define a plant as a living organism in an in a growing in a permanent site which may have leaf, root, stem etc. and it can be a tree, herb, shrub, grasses, anything. Why crop is an aggregation? It's a group of individual plant species grown in a unit area for economic purpose. Our next term is growth. Growth is defined as an irreversible increase in size and volume and is the consequence of differentiation and distribution occurring in the plant. In simple terms, we can say that growth is a gradual development. Actually, a growth is an irreversible increase in the size. It's a quantitative uh, phase, while development it's a qualitative phase. Next is the uh, next term is simulation. Simulation is defined as reproducing the essence of a system without reproducing the system itself. Systems are nothing but web source cycles of integrating components. A system, it is an, um, a web or, a, web or a cycle of integrating components. And if if a change in any one of the component may produce a whole change in the system. And then what do you mean by a model? A model is a representation of an object, system, or idea in some form other than that of the entity itself. We said that simulation is reproducing the essence of a system without reproducing the system itself. That is, uh, simulation means just means that imitating the real world. And for imitating the real world, first thing we need is a model. Thus, a model can be said as a simplified version of a part of reality not a one-to-one -one copy. Our next team is a crop model. A crop model it's a uh, it's mathematical equations that represents the reactions that occur within the plant and the interactions between the plant and its environment. Mathematical modeling enables one to predict the behavior of the design while keeping expenses at its minimum. We said that crop model, they are mathematical equations that represent the reactions that occur within the plant and the interactions between the plant and its environment. An example is a change in weather, warm to humid, may lead to the more rapid development of plant diseases. That may lead to a loss in yield. Consequently, financial adversities. These situations can be uh, 
can be represented by a crop model and we can enable to predict the behavior of the design while keeping the expenses at its minimum next comes the types of model depending upon the purpose for which it is designed the models are classified into different groups the major classifications of crop models are statistical models mechanistic models static and dynamic models deterministic models and stochastic models simulation models and optimizing models first one is the statistical models in this type of models experimental data are used to find one or more mathematical equations which are able to describe the behavior of the system that is the statistical models express the for example the statistical models expresses the relationship between yield or yield components and weather parameters and these are here for uh, here in in case of statistical models we utilize the experimental data and it is converted into stat which is converted or measured with the help of statistical techniques example step down regressions correlations etc next one is the mechanistic model this model consists consists of of a quantitative description of the mechanisms and process that guide the behavior of the system in case of statistical models we used only the experimental data and uh, it is converted into mathematical equations there the mechanisms are not studied while in case of mechanistic model um, we also quantify the mechanisms or process uh, to guide the behavior of the system that is here it explains this model explains the relationship of influencing dependent variable also and it is based on physical selection in simple terms we can say that mechanistic models describe how and why a particular response result occurred next one is the dynamic model these models predict the changes in crop status with the time as a function of exogenous parameters in case of dynamic models it, here the time is incorporated and mostly expressed as the model is expressed as differential equations and in case of static static model the time is not included as a variable in static case uh time is not included as a variable even if the end products of the crop systems are accumulated over time next one is the deterministic model these models estimate the exact value of the yield or dependent variable and these models have defined coefficients that is this makes definite predictions over quantities such as crop yield rainfall animal life weight etc without any associated probability dis probability distribution or variance so uh, greater the uncertainty in the system the more in inadequate deterministic models becomes and in contrast to this comes the stochastic models as we already said that in case of deterministic model probability element is not considered while in case of stochastic models a probability element is attached to each output that is for each set of inputs different outputs are given along with probabilities these models define yield or state of dependent variable at a given rate next one is simulation models simulation models are defined as computer models in general are a mathematical representation of a real world system one of the main goals of 
crop simulation crop simulation model is to estimate agriculture production as a function of weather and soil conditions as well as crop management it is simulation models can be defined as a group of models that is designed for the purpose of imitating the behavior of a system they are mechanistic and majority case they are deterministic that is these models usually offer the possibility of specifying management options and they can be used to investigate wide range of management strategies at a low cost mostly crop models that are used that is simulation crop models are used to estimate crop yield fall within this category a crop yield or rainfall within this category next is the optimizing models optimizing models have the specific objective of devising the best option in terms of management inputs for practical operation of the system for deriving solutions they use decision rules that are consistent with some optimizing algorithm that is optimizing models have the specific objective and uh, they does not allow the incorporation of many uh, biological details and maybe poor representations of reality so using the simulation approach to identify a restricted set of management option that are then evaluated with the optimizing models has been reported as a useful option optimizing models alone uh, using of optimizing models alone may be a, it may be a poor representation of reality while you using the simulation approach to identify the restricted set of management options and then using the optimizing models will be successful so far we have discussed about why modeling is needed and the important terms before dealing with this section and the types of models and details of this types of models next one is uh, when a model is said to be a good model and day and atkin 1984 has described a good model as a sound appreciation and understanding of the biological problem though not necessarily including the most indi um, indicate details that a good model should understand the biological problem though it may not necessarily include all the details of that problem second one is a realistic mathematical representation of the phenomena first it has to understand the biological problem then uh, we we should represent a, math, a good mathematical representation of the problem should be possible and third step is finding a solution quantitative if possible of the resulting mathematical problems and then last one is the biological interpretation of the results ideally giving biological insight and predictions first we should understand the, uh, that a model should understand the biological problem then it should be able to represent that problem in a mathematical form and it should give a quantitative solution and also biological interpretation of the results should be possible if this factors are met then it should be a good model the rest of the topics will be covered in the upcoming videos if you like this video subscribe our channel and give a thumbs up